At this point, I almost just want to start cutting random bits. I also don't want them to burn off, so let's take it off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I haven't changed my hair in a month or so. I'm almost two months now. It's that time I need to change it. We all know the drill. As soon as I start to get a little bit stressed, that's when my brain is like, uh-oh, let's change something up. This ain't, this ain't it. Let's change something. Hey y'all, so I didn't explain this in the video, but basically this is gonna be a three-part process. First, I'm gonna cut my hair. Then I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Then I'm going to color my hair funky. Um, so stay for the end to see what my hair looks like now. So the other day I saw a TikTok and I was like, ooh, what's this? And then I saw a really pretty girl cut her hair and I was like, guess I gotta cut my hair. This is a little bit different than my other videos because this is something that I've never tried before. I'm giving myself layers. I don't know if this is gonna be a challenge for me, but we're just gonna try it and see what happens. The reason why I'm not too hesitant to try it is because my bangs are already like these little bits. I kind of love the length that they're at and wish I had more pieces just like these because I just think it adds so much character to my hair. So should I look up a video on how to do this? Yeah, I probably should. I, <laughs> I really badly don't want to fuck up my hair because I'm really happy with it. So if it gets ruined, that'll be very disappointing. So I found a tutorial. I'm going to follow it step by step. So hopefully, hopefully I don't fuck it up. Uh, <laughs> so he said, first make sure your hair is not tangly. So I'm going to brush my hair. And I should probably shower right after this because my hair is gross. Okay, right now he is spraying. Oh, oh my god, side profile check. So he said it's nice to have damp hair while you're cutting. So I'm gonna... This guy that I'm watching the tutorial from, he's kind of scaring me a little bit because he's like, it's gonna be hard, I trained. 25 years, it's gonna be hard to teach you guys in one video, and so I'm just like, is this hard? Uh, <laughs> is this maybe a mistake that I'm doing it by myself and not by a professional? Probably, but you know what? Maybe deep down I really am a professional. We're at the top of the head where it's the flattest, and if you put the comb, you'll see right there is where it's the flattest. You want to make sure you're doing that with hair cutting, and especially doing this yourself, it's going to make life a whole lot easier. This is why I don't really recommend people cutting their hair themselves. Bitch, so, slow down. Okay, I think I understand. That's a lie. I'm saying that to make myself feel better. So my dad got me these scissors. They're a little bit thick, but hopefully they work. And then later when I'm doing like the that thing, I have these little baby ones. This man made it very clear that you should definitely use shears, like professional haircut shears. Um, I have regular scissors, office scissors. Oh, this is what we're using. What I'm getting from this is that basically you're gonna go shortest to longest in the front. So I'll start... Um... Hey there! Um, this is very scary. So here's where we're at. Um, at the end of this I'm probably just gonna be like just chopping out my hair and just doing whatever the fuck. A lot of- I see a lot of people on TikTok just like doing their own hair. And that's what's giving me hope. I did some chopping to the front bits, and you know what, it's fine, whatever. I'm still a bit confused on what the heck I'm really supposed to be doing. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I am starting to think maybe I should not do this, and maybe I'm just not meant to have layers, and maybe I should just get it done by a professional. I do need a mirror so I can see what's going on in the back of my head. How I'm going to see the back of my head, I'm still not quite sure. And you're going to look to see what we call as a guideline all the way straight up. If you have a lot of hair, this may be a bit of a challenge. We'll comb this all, but you can cut it straight like that. Like, on 
exactly where you are. This is. Uh, bitch, this is hard. I don't even know if I'm cutting anything. I thought layers would be easy. I guess it is a little bit silly of me to assume that it would be easy. I thought it was easy because I just saw this girl do it in a TikTok in like 60 seconds. She was just like, snip, 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 snip. New haircut. So, I'm not sure what that's all about. Okay, I don't know what this man's talking about. Uh, I'm not seeing any difference. Am I stupid? Um, I'll be right back when I come back with a solution. Okay, so I rewatched the TikTok video of the girl doing her hair, and it just looks like she's just no pushy shit. She's just chopping at her hair. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's maybe what I'm gonna do. I saw her grabbing some bits and then going like that. So I might do a little bit of that. I don't know. There's also a video Jenna Marbles did where she put her hair in a ponytail and cut it like that. Maybe I'll try that too. Okay, let's see if that did anything. Yep, there's my hair guys. Uh, wait, there's a little bit of a difference. Can you see that? It's like shortish up here. I think I'm doing it. I'm gonna do that again. Okay, let's see what damage we've done. Not enough. Wait, what the fuck? Oh no, my bit. Okay, so I've been <laughs> standing here chopping at my hair for maybe an hour now. Not even, I'm not joking. Um, I have been standing here for quite a while. My legs are hurting very badly because of how long I've been standing here. I don't know if this is layers, but I've just been going like this. I've been grabbing pieces and cutting kind of short at the top and then kind of just slowly, I don't know. I'm not really doing this in a particular way, like I'm not sectioning my hair, I'm kind of just cutting off bits. I love it so far by the way. It's kind of giving me mullet vibes. This is not a mullet, but all the people on TikTok, it's reminding me of that hair and it's kind of making me want one. I'm not doing that, that's not happening. but. I do like that vibe and I love it on other people. But yeah, I'm not really sure when I'll stop. Like if I should stop at this because I'm happy with it. But like I feel like I could do more because like I just want like more of a noticeable difference. I'll show you what the back looks like. You can see I've got some short bits. But I kind of want to keep going because I want, I kind of want this transformation to be a little bit crazy. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna keep going but I will come back when it is all done uh, before I show you the damage that's been done look at all of that hair uh oh real time this is not what I had originally intended on doing however I kinda like it okay it's borderline a mullet had I made this stuff any shorter this will be a mullet. Y'all like it? I love it. I, I'm really happy I did this. There's hair everywhere. I'm gonna have to clean this all up before my father gets home. So that's the first part of this transformation. And so I will be doing my eyebrows. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is fixing these brows because as you can see <laughs> they're pretty much grown back but they, the ends of them are still blonde so I'm just gonna re-bleach them because I really like them when they're bleached. I think it's such a look. The other day I tried filling in my eyebrows with makeup and my brows, I, I don't know, I just having my brows accentuated just I don't know, I kind of like how they're faded into my face. I think it's a nice look. So I don't have all of my hair stuff, like my bowl and my brush, because that's in Seattle. But I don't want to wait till I get back to Seattle to do this. So what I'm doing here is I'm improvising 
I have a little uh, food container. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of bleach in there and then I got a little mini developer. I'm trying 30 volume because whenever I bleach my brows, I have to do it in like two rounds. So I thought, why don't I just do 30 volume instead of 20? Pretty smart if you ask me. Um, anyways, so we're gonna pour the bleach in here, mix in the developer, and I don't have a brush and I don't have gloves. So we're just gonna use Q-tips to uh, and that should work. So I've got my concoction here, and I'm gonna slap her on, baby. Okay, this is burning already, and I've <laughs> barely done anything. Is that because I'm using 30 volume instead of 20? Maybe. Am I gonna cry about it? No, because I'm not a whiny little baby. Well, I am a whiny little baby, but I'm not gonna be one right now because I'm trying to look sexy. Okay. That was easy. I'm gonna put the, this one. If I saw myself a few months ago, like if I saw myself now, I'm not quite sure how I'd react. I might think that my mental health has gone down a bit. And you know what? I am I would be correct. Actually, is that a lie? I don't know. I keep saying that my mental health is getting really bad, but then like I also feel like I'm thriving. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna set a timer. We'll start with 10 minutes and then we'll check on it and make sure my brows aren't sizzling off, baby. Alright, so I'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay, I ended up going to 15 minutes. I'm scared it's gonna be too yellow and then I'll have to bleach them again and I really don't wanna bleach them again. But I also don't want them to burn off, so let's take it off. Uh oh. Oh no. I think it's happening. No, <laughs> please, I really didn't want them to burn off. That was just a silly little joke. I'm suddenly joking around, please. Ooh, okay. <laughs> thought they burned off. Did they? I can't tell if it's just because they're really blonde or if... <gasps> Wait, I can't. Quit playing with me. I can't tell if they burned off or not. Some of my eyebrow had to have burned off. It's fine, it's fine. It's just, um... <laughs> okay, they certainly are lightened. I'm happy about that. Uh, however, it appears as though some of my eyebrows is missing. Um, can you see that? My eyebrows just look short. You can see it more over here. There's clearly something missing over here. Was this the outcome that I had asked for? No, but yes. They are the lightness that I needed. You know, I'm not even that mad. They look good. They look fine. Am I going to include me bleaching my roots? Uh, if I ended up bleaching my roots and then showing it on camera, you'll see it right now. Hey, y'all. I love my hair. However, Velma, I just feel like there's so much more that could be cut. Like, I just, I want more cut. Um, and this time it'll be a little bit closer to looking like a mullet. So last time I didn't have hair cutting shears like I was supposed to. I had office scissors, but I have an upgrade. I got, um, these are scissors for cutting my dog's hair, but you know what? They look, they're better than office scissors. So we're gonna, we're gonna work with these. And what I learned from last time was you kind of just gotta cut pieces of hair and just not care too much because if I I feel like if I if I care too much then I just don't I don't cut off enough. We're just gonna go for it. One thing I don't quite understand about my hair is that this side tends to curl outwards, but this side tends to <laughs> curl inwards. So it's like, what is that? Wait, why are these scissors not good? Okay, we switched to the office scissors. Um... Okay, I've been chopping my hair for like an hour and I think it's how I like it, question mark? It's mm -hmm. seven o'clock and I started around six. You started around like 6.50. Oh, <laughs> okay, well then it's been 20 minutes. This is what it looks like right now. It looks really gross because my hair is greasy, but I promise you it'll look better when I wash my hair out. I'm not making any excuses. This is, I swear it's gonna look better later. 
now we're gonna do the fun stuff. So first thing I'm gonna do is fix my roots because they need to be rebleached. And I don't have plastic wrap this time, I have foil. So hopefully, hopefully that doesn't make a huge difference. So I have my regular bleach and then this time I have 30 volume developer instead of 20. And so hopefully if I do 30, then I won't have to do two rounds of bleach. Because the 30 volume developer worked pretty well for my eyebrows, so I thought it'll be perfect for doing my roots. So there's the bleach powder. I think that's mixed enough. Anyways, okay, so I got gloves. I think I learned a better technique to bleaching my hair. Um, I feel very professional now. Okay, I had to move out of my bathroom just for a bit because my mother's in a Zoom call. But anyways, I couldn't talk while I was bleaching because my mom needed me to be quiet. But anyways, so I finished bleaching my roots and I'm just going to let that sit in there for 10 minutes I think. I'm gonna do that part off camera and then I'll come back when it's all done. So I'll see you when it's all done. Okay so I let it sit in there for about probably 20 minutes and now we're gonna rinse. This had to be a two day process because it was like 12 p.m. at night and I had not realized that I was gonna have to bleach this multiple times. I'm gonna have to bleach this again. Otherwise, do y'all like my haircut? Cause I think the, the cut's kinda cute. There's gonna be a little bit of a change of plans. So basically, I tried bleaching here and my original plan was I was gonna bleach some small strips and then leave some dark hair here but it doesn't really look like there's much of a space there and so I had the idea of getting black hair dye and dyeing that little strip here and then while we're at it we're just gonna dye the rest of my hair black. First thing we're gonna do is bleach that and then once that's all done then we'll do the dyeing. We'll dye my hair black and we'll do the blue and the pink. Oh you know what I did? I bleached that on accident. Yesterday just did not go very well for me. Oh my god, guys, I was playing Among Us today and I made a new friend. There was this girl and her name was Treat People With Kindness and I was like, oh, Harry Stan. And then I asked her, I was like, hey, did you watch the Golden Music video? And she was like, oh, of course I did. And I was like, oh. then we hung out for the whole game. It was very cool. Okay. <laughs> Ignore how silly this looks, but this is just how I'm gonna separate my hair so that I don't accidentally bleach parts of my hair that aren't supposed to be bleached. Okay, so here's what happened. My camera ran out of storage and I had to delete some stuff, but anyways, so I have the two strips in bleach. So I have a, I have a timer set for 15 minutes. I'll come back when my alarm goes off. So here's what happened. This is a bit orange. However, I think it'll be okay if I just dye it blue. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the pink first, cause that's more fun. And then I'll do the blue and then I'll do the black. That's what I'm doing. That will be me. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> oh, there's not gonna be a whole lot of room for error, huh? Y'all ready for the final review?
let me give you a tour. We've got the raccoon tail. We've got the black hair. We've got the blue strips. And for funsies, we've got the whatever this haircut is. I'll call it layers, but it's like layers, shaggy, mullet almost, mullet-esque. It's like if I had a mullet and it grew out, that's what I'll call this hairstyle, grown out mullet. Let me show you the back. I don't know what the back looks like since I cut it. Does that look good? By the way, I mentioned this is my last video, but look what I found. I found my fingerless gloves that have One Direction on it. <laughs> Isn't that so iconic? Uh, if anyone else had these, let me know. And it matches my hair. Look at that. Anyways, I'm so happy with my hair. This is the craziest my hair has ever been in my entire life. If we just look at the black and the blue stripes, I feel like Gwen from Total Drama Island. I love her so much. But anyways, that's what that reminds me of. I think that's such a fun little addition. That was kind of last minute. That's what it looks like from the top view. Oh my god, I love my hair. I'm so happy. I love my hair so much. It was really difficult, but you know what? For the results that came out, I think it was all worth it in the end. So, so if you like this video, please like the video and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Please, please, please vote. Super important. I swear to God, if you're 18 and up and you're not voting, and if you are not old enough to vote, then please tell all of your friends and family members who can vote, tell them to vote. Please check the links in my description where there are links to sources to help the Black Lives Matter movement. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye bye.